Hello, everybody. I hope you all are in a great mood like I am. I have had just a great day and I'm living the best life because I went Trader Joe's shopping and now I'm gonna share it all with you guys. So if you're excited about this week's Trader Joe's haul, please subscribe to the channel, of course, and give it a thumbs up if you wanna support and then leave a comment below. All those three things help us out, so thank you for doing that. And let's get right into this week's Trader Joe's haul with all the new seasonal and, you know, everyday items. We're gonna go right here into the frozen land. So I'm gonna start with the tater tots. These are tater tots that we really enjoy and like to eat. My favorite ones are at Aldi, but they haven't been there in a while. So I am making do with the Trader Joe's ones, which are great too. They just have a little bit more oil than I'd like, um, but good nonetheless. Also, the kimbap. So this was such a crazy item when it first came out. Everybody wanted to get it, um, and the shelves were always empty. Today when I went at my Trader Joe's, the shelf, I mean, it was a frozen shelf, but it was completely overflowing. So I think the hype has finally calmed down. And if you haven't had good luck at your store finding it, start looking again because I feel like people have finally like realized you can just get one when it's at the store. You don't need to collect 10 and fill up your freezer. So uh, yes, if you haven't tried this, I really enjoy this, like I say, in several videos that I bought this before, when I find it and it's in stock, I'll buy one and have it for lunch sometime this week. Now, I also grabbed the chimichurri rice. This rice is literally the best. I bought it a couple weeks ago and I made it for Tim and I and it was so delicious. I was like, why did I only buy one bag? I think this week in the taste test, since there's so few new items, I'm going to try the chimichurri on camera for you guys and you can just see how delicious and to die for it is. Tim loved it too. He was really sad that I gave him half and he was like, well, where's the rest? I'm like, we only had one bag. So I probably should have bought two, but we just don't have freezer space right now. So this is a fantastic rice. It's all, all the veggies in there. It's just super flavorful and delicious. Um, also got some jasmine white rice. I haven't bought this in a few weeks, maybe even a month now. And I needed some rice for dinner tonight. So I grabbed the jasmine white rice and this is the best frozen rice and the Spanish rice, of course. So those are some frozen. Now to a seasonal frozen that's back in and it is the coffee bean hold the cones. Such a fantastic flavor. If you are a coffee lover, and even if you're not, give these a try. They're so delicious. Um, I will say Trader Joe's probably has the best coffee ice cream that I've ever had. Uh, so they do coffee ice cream right. So if you haven't tried the seasonal hold the cones, they're only around for this time of year. So grab them while they're there. They have the chocolate chip vanilla ones and then I think just plain chocolate and maybe just vanilla. So. I don't know, they have a bunch of flavors, but seasonal ones come and go. Coffee bean is the season that we're in right now. Moving on to the cheese now. So they have the Spotlight Cheese of the Month, which is the Irish Cheddar Cheese with Irish Whiskey. This is one that we will be trying in the taste test and it is microbial enzyme. So it has Irish Whiskey in here as well. This sounds interesting and I'm excited to try it. Um, these are per pound, so $11.99 per pound. If you want it, a Spotlight Cheese of the Month only lasts for the month and then it's gone. So grab it while it's still here. And then Spicy Buffalo Cheddar is back in. This is a seasonal cheese as well. And Tim likes to add this to his pretzels. So he wanted to get one of these. We might even try this in the taste test just to let you guys know how we like it because I kind of forget what it tastes like. So both of these will be in the taste test. Also got some Parmesan cheese. So if anything, if you guys don't know what comment to leave in the comment section today, leave a happy anniversary to my parents because they are going to be celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary this Saturday, March 16th. And my sister-in-law and myself are hosting a little dinner party for them to celebrate 50 years of marriage, which is such an accomplishment. So if you guys are feeling uh, in a good mood and you wanna spread some cheer, wish my parents a happy anniversary. Um, but yes, I'm gonna be making a full on menu, so a dinner for them, and I'm doing Italian food. So I got some Parmesan to put on top of that. This Parmesan I don't typically buy because it goes bad so quickly. Um, you can freeze it, and a lot of people do that with this cheese because of how quickly it goes bad, but because I'm gonna be using probably all of it by Saturday, I bought it because it's really good. It's just 
goes bad so quick. You'll start seeing little green flecks all in here, even after like a week or two of opening it. So if you do like this cheese and you buy it, I highly recommend freezing it. You don't need to defrost it. Just pull some out of the freezer and sprinkle it on your meal and it defrosts like within a minute. So you're good to go. Also got some Swiss cheese. Um, we've been really back into sandwiches lately. So Swiss is always a good cheese to add to sandwiches. My husband, of course, got his fave uncured pepperonis. He loves these. Now up here, we've got the cookies and cream pretzel slims. I believe these are new, but I feel like I've had these before. Why do I feel like I've had these before? Maybe they were in the seasonal bundle or something. Um, oh yes, I think they were in the holiday uh, pretzel slim bundle that they had. So I feel like we've tried them, but we'll try them again in the taste test just to remind ourselves. And basically they're just covered in confectionery coating with Jojo's cookie bits and topped with dark chocolatey drizzle. Yum. Here's the back in case you wanted to see the nutrition facts and the ingredient list. There you go. And then look, they came back with the elderberry juniper kombucha, my favorite. So I have, I think I'll tell you my, top three faves. It's the elderberry juniper, the peach paradise, because I bought one last week and I drank it and it was so delicious. I had to get another one. And then my next favorite is the guava. That's the summer one I couldn't think of. And someone in the comments reminded me. So thank you for that. Um, but guava is my third favorite. So those are my three top kombuchas at Trader Joe's. Got some smoothies for my son, strawberry wild berry, the two flavors that Trader Joe's offers. Now this is a brand new product and I haven't really seen anyone talking about this. This is the Oat Milk Double La Colum Draft Latte and it's basically a cold brew with oat milk. It says frothy and creamy, yum. I can't wait to dig into this. This will be in the taste test as well. Um, Uh-oh, dun, 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 do you guys see that? Do you see it? Do you see it? Canola oil, uh-oh. You should be arrested ma'am. <laughs> um, still going to drink it, but yeah, it's kind of a bummer when they add like canola oil to this. Okay. Okay. I guess so. There's also, dare I say, jellum gum. I think that's not supposed to be a good ingredient too. Correct me if I'm wrong, but jellum gum, that one. Mm. So one thing I do like about La Colum is that these coffees are like they will get you hyped up. There is so much caffeine, caffeine in these things. And usually Starbucks is what I go to. But when I used to work at Trader Joe's and I was having like a down day where I just needed energy, if I cracked one of these open, I was not going to bed till like 2, 3 a.m. Because dang, these things are potent. Um, but I look forward to trying this in the taste test. Tim loves this dang lobster bisque. He is gonna buy one every week until it's gone. He had one um, bought last week, he ate it, and now he's like, I'm getting another one. So if you guys like lobster bisque, Trader Joe's has a good one. And then the non-dairy oat creamer, brown sugar. I haven't seen the cinnamon one in a while. So I don't know if that was a seasonal or if they're just out of stock right now, but I loved that creamer, it, it grew on me and I'm sad that it's not around, so that's a bummer. Now to another seasonal product. These sprinkles walk into a sandwich cookie. These are like the ultimate party cookie for kids. I swear, every time I see these and I open them, they make me happy. There's sprinkles in them. They are like a crunchy cookie with this frosting center. Oh my gosh, they're so, so good. Very sweet, so you gotta have a real big sweet tooth for these, but they're so fun and festive, and I personally like them. They make me happy, and my kid loves them too. Now to another seasonal, 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 glazed sweet lemon scones. I told you last week that my store hadn't gotten them in yet. This week they did. They also got the lemon sheet cake, but I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I've heard that it is very dry this year and it's not the same as last year. That's why I didn't buy it because I was like, you know what, for that much money, I think it's like five something, I don't wanna get a cake that's dry and I didn't even wanna buy it to try it and then be disappointed. So if you guys want to try it yourself, Trader Joe's has a great return policy. You can return it if yours ends up being dry. I've heard others not so much, so I guess it's like hit or miss, but if you like that lemon sheet cake, it is also available and it's in the same spot that you'll find these, which is kind of like in the bakery bread section. So check that out. Got some organic diced and no salt added can of tomatoes because I told you I'm making a menu with Italian food. And so this is gonna be part of a pasta that I'm creating as well as this fresh basil. 
I highly recommend if you're buying basil at Trader Joe's, don't get the clamshell that's already cut and like ready to go unless you like need a big batch of basil and you need it like that day. That basil turns black so quickly. Don't refrigerate it. The leaves turn black. Um, but I highly recommend if you have uh, you know, if you want to have it last longer, get one of these basils. There's the big one too. And if you want to keep it in your windowsill, the trick is to water from the bottom, not from the actual pot. So what you do is you put this in a little dish that has a lip on it and you just water the dish and then the basil on the bottom has a bunch of holes. It will suck up that water and it'll keep the roots from not rotting because root rot is very prevalent with basil. So if you want to keep it alive, just water the base and basil is a thirsty plant. So you need to make sure you're watering it almost daily, um, especially if it's in the windowsill because it dries out quick, but you will get a long life out of it if you do it that way. Promise you. I've experimented over the years and that's the way that works the best. So Grab that. Now, this is a brand new cleaner that they just came out with. This is the all-purpose disinfectant cleaner, fresh citrus. It says it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses. And I can't wait to try this because right now I buy seven generations um, disinfectant cleaner for my kitchen. And I want to try this on my countertop. So I'm actually going to be using this in the taste test. I'm going to clean off the area on camera and show you guys how it is. I'm going to smell it. I'm going to see if there's any film or how it feels and how it looks on my countertop. And I'll give you a full review in the taste test. So if you're curious, make sure you check that out. It'll be the first product that I am going to like clean the counter before we eat. So there's that. Got some more strawberry sparkling. Shocker. Now to something fun that I got that has been around for a couple years now. Um, the pancake bread. This is such a good treat. I haven't bought this in years, but I thought, you know, it's time to buy some pancake bread. We're going to try this in the taste test too, because I want to revisit. It's so delicious. So that's yummy. Can't wait to get into that. Bought two bunches of asparagus again for the dinner on Saturday. These asparagus look so fresh and good. I bought some last week and it was old. This week, these are gorgeous. So I can't wait to throw this into the pasta that I'm gonna be making. They look amazing. Also got some garlic for that dish and then I got a bunch of Roma tomatoes. Um, I love Roma tomatoes, especially if you're using like a big batch of tomatoes because they're so affordable, 29 cents per tomato. And you can pick and choose the size and the color and all that because they're in a big, you know, just in a big pile. Uh, the one thing I don't like is how waxy these are. So that's the one thing, but I'm going to wash them, of course, and scrub them, but the wax never seems to fully come off. So that's the one downside to it, but great deal, very affordable. Got some pico just because it looks good and I want to eat some pico. <laughs> and actually, I have a pairing with this. It's going to be the black bean and jack cheese burrito. I used to buy these so much like I'm talking like three times a week when I worked at Trader Joe's and I would eat these on my lunch break so delicious super hearty it keeps you full for a long time and um but it has to have a salsa that's one thing I it has to have some type of sauce salsa pico I'm gonna try this in the taste test for you guys just so you can see it and I'm gonna pair it with this pico because why not? Then I grabbed the crunchy chili onion hummus. Haven't had this in a while, but it's a really good hummus. You just mix in the chili onion crunch. Now, if you have chili onion crunch and you have plain hummus, you can just do this at home. Super simple, easy to do. Um, but I liked, I like that it's ready to go. The flavors have been marinating in there for a while and it has like just a really good flavor. So got that for snacks. Got some more handful of olives, of course, because I love these. Uh, got some dark chocolate covered pretzels. You can find these at the checkout, like when you're in line. They're in there, and these are so good, and I love the little grab and go pack. And then they got the gourmet jelly beans in, so the big bag. They always sell the small box, but during this time of year for Easter, they get the big bag and it's a great value. So if you like these jelly beans, they have the best flavors. Get your jelly beans while they're around and that's it. That is the haul this week. Lots of fun finds. I can't wait to dig into this week's taste test because I'm really hungry and I think I'm going to rope Tim and we're going to start that taste test right now. I'm starving. So give me that burrito in my belly. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel by giving thumbs up subscribing and leaving a comment down below. I appreciate all of you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.
拜。